looked like you had about as good a look as you're, you're going to get on that. <laughs> so what kind of just can you walk us through maybe what you saw in that inbound play to, to get up that shot? To, uh, I think they did a great job of running me off the initial line, just trying to get a catch. Thought I got a really good look, just missed it. Um, it happens. I'm curious for you, in a, in a game where I don't, they're kind of junking it up, right, by doubling Giannis out yeah. behind the half-court line, how do you guys find a rhythm? Like, obviously, he's got one going, but oh, how do you guys? got to do a better job of playing out of that double team. That's, I think, something that I haven't seen my whole career here, of somebody getting trapped or him getting trapped in the half-court. So um, it's a great um, learning experience for, for, uh, for us. We, we watch that film. Um, we realize where the gaps are and how to attack. And, Hopefully next game or next time that happens, we'll be better at attacking and executing. Um, I mean, you've been here for all of the games he's had like this. Um, in that moment, and obviously you're a big part of that too, in terms of either assisting or helping out with uh, off those kickouts. What what did you see from him in that kind of uh, to get to 54 at this point? And yeah, kind of just, just, and, just being uh, dominant. Um, you can see nobody out there could have guarded tonight. I mean, it was either a layup, dunk, or a foul. And I think he realized that he sent his blood. And went for it every time. That's what we needed. Nice like tonight. Um, unfortunately, we couldn't get the win um, with it. But he did a great job of attacking, um, seeing double teams kicking out, knowing when to attack, knowing when to wait, just being patient. I thought he played a great game. Um, we just got to be better at the end for him there, um, help him out a little bit more. I mean, to your on your end though, you had seven straight in the second quarter when they had taken that two point deficit and stretched it out. So what were you seeing? And did you kind of sense a moment of where it was okay, time for you to? To get help your team get in there. Yeah, I think uh, you know it started again. Did a great job of pressuring us um, with their guards. So it was just you know using my size, uh, my strength, and figure out how to get to my spots without you know letting them or allowing them to pressure me. And that's using my teammates, um, them setting me up um, in the paint, um, kickouts, and just playing basketball, making reads after that. Um, but just being aggressive, picking my spots. You had. You had 19 points in 20 minutes. What did you think of your uh, performance tonight? Like, how would you assess it? I think it was solid. I mean, I always say, you know, when you lose, you didn't do enough or you didn't do great of a job. So I think, you know, I definitely want to watch those last couple of minutes again, see how we can get better. I mean, I think we had some good possessions. Some shots went down. Um, I think the turnovers kind of uh, bit us in the butt a little bit. But, you know, overall, I think, you know, I'm getting there, trying to figure things out, trying to get adjusted to the whole team. And, you know, it's going to, I say this every day, I feel like, but it's going to be a process. It's an adjustment period. Uh, we just have to be patient um, and talk, be communicative with, it, with each other about what we see, um, about how to get better. Uh, last couple of minutes, you guys are switching, and, you know, Brooks out on an island with yeah. Albert and stuff like that. Yeah. How do you guys try to get through all that stuff? It's not, it's stuff you've done. I mean, yeah. even here, you did this yeah. a little bit last year, but not all the time. How do you guys kind of get used to it? We're trying. I see, you see, we're trying. Um, you know, he does such a great job of protecting the rim. You know, every now and then switch on perimeter guys. Late in games, that's what it's going to come down to getting stops tonight. We couldn't. So it's just figuring out how we can keep the ball in front. How can we keep, you know, the whole team out of rotations? Um, they did a great job of the majority of the game. And like I said, we, we're going to get there. I mean, um, we're going to watch this, figure out how to get better. Two minutes plus two. Learn how to clean things up on that side of the ball because it's going to make our offense again so much better. Last year, I think you guys were among the teams that use zone least. And now, yeah. I mean, this is like eight minute stretches yeah. of zone. Um, how are you guys getting used to that? It is. I, I think we're doing a great job with it. I think, you know, part of the problem is right now we have so many guys getting to the paint. Um, so the zone kind of helps disrupt, disrupt that a little bit. Um, but the zone has been great for us all season long. So hopefully as the season go, goes on, we can you know keep junking it up, um, change the rhythm of the game. So. How do you describe the pace of this team now that you went against them compared to what they've yeah. been the last couple of years? See, in the first five minutes, we weren't ready for it. I mean, um, you hear about it, you see it on TV, but you get out there, you realize how fast those guys play. So um, the first five minutes, like I said, was terrible. As far as transitions, guys getting behind us. And Halliburton does a great job of throwing in the head, finding guys, um, taking chances sometimes. But I think as the game went on, we got better with our transition defense. Is that part of the shock factor for the kind of the start? Yeah, I think so. I mean, that's, you know, figuring out which guys are going to shoot what shots sometimes. I'm um, having that forward balance. But um, it's going to come. I think, like I said, as the game went on, we did a better job of adjusting to their speed and uh, their transition side of the defense.